What if I told all of you that I may have found really amazing software that's free on Steam and, well, not really well known? And what if I also told you that it comes with a crap load of free VTubing avatars? The program we are covering today is great for people that are new to VTubing that can't afford a new model, don't have the required skill to make their own model like on VRide, or the time to make their own model. The software that we're talking about today is called VTube Maker. And in today's video, we're gonna go over VTube Maker, show you how to set it up, and well, give you a great tutorial of VTube Maker. My name is Anubis Lives, and I am your VTuber Senpai. On this YouTube channel, we upload anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. We also upload here every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you like today's video, please consider smashing that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you like today's content or the content I make on this channel, Please smash that subscribe button and well, let's get into it. Considering this software is on Steam, the first thing we need to do is well head to Steam. While here at Steam, we just gotta type into the search bar, VTube Maker. Click it, and as you see, it's free. I already have it downloaded, but all you gotta do is click that free button, let it download, and you're good to go. Now that it's done downloading, all we gotta do Go to the desktop icon and launch it. Once you get to this screen, all you're gonna have to do is make a new account, log in, and that's pretty much it. Once we launch that screen, we're gonna be welcomed with this screen. All we need to do right now is on the bottom left hand side, select our appropriate webcam. I'm gonna choose my HD Pro webcam. And there I am. As we see, we already have facial tracking marks on our face, so that's pretty neat. But not only that, it really tracks, well, our face pretty decently. Look, I could do a smirk. It does a smirk. Eyebrows lifting up, down, up, down. This software is actually really fantastic for somebody that's new to VTubing, can't afford to get a new model because, well, not only do we have amazing facial tracking, we'll actually turn off my webcam now. We have a pretty decent repository of, well, different models here. We could go with Daniel. And we see Daniel's loaded up. On the bottom right hand side, underneath the avatar icon, we also have the cute avatar version that <laughs> makes us look like this. It's pretty neat. So now that we know that at the bottom right hand side is where we change our avatars, let's go through some of the other settings. Top right, we got hide interface. So when we click that, basically the right hand bar goes away. We're gonna leave that on for now. Right here, we have scene. This is everything that we see in the background. So right now it's all blurry. In the options, we could click blurred background, turn that to off, go back to scenes, change our scenes to, well, basically whatever we want. And right now we have a lot of this Christmas stuff that's under our overlay. We're just gonna click the little X here to make this all disappear, but if you want a webcam with a border around it this is actually a really good option to have now our next one is our tracking on and off that basically turns off our tracking we don't really need that our widget on and off basically allows us to have a little widget if we're going to do for example screen capture instead of game capture which i'm hoping you guys aren't going to do virtual broadcast this right now will allow you to send out a signal kind of like to discord or you know mobile programs like skype stuff like that audio based lip sync we could either have that on or off but basically what that means it's going to use our microphone instead of using the facial tracking tracking our lips quick action panel on or off basically if we want to make it wave give it you know, some basic emotes, not a big, huge thing. And then our last one is our options, which again gives us our blurred, make it full screen, widget lock, auto blink, which is kind of cool. But when facial tracking is on, as you see, it's tracking my eyes. So right now I'm squinting. It's also squinting. Pupil floating, you can leave that on. Operation keys. We got some body rotation. So you can change stuff around, move it around. 
right click on your mouse and drag but here you have the option to do it here as well lens zoom widget locks all that different stuff we got your different inputs so if you got a different microphone graphics quality frame caps typically you guys could keep this at 30 frames per second if you wish to do so mainly because you're outputting to twitch at 30 frames per second so not really a huge difference people aren't going to notice a huge difference this is your account information and this is your editor list now you're wondering yourself how can i add my avatar well that's really simple on the bottom right hand side we're going to click on avatars new avatar you can import your own new avatar by vtube editor the tool you can download on steam so again here we're back at steam we're going to just type in vtube and then editor click on that click on free let it download and we'll jump into the next step okay so when we're here at our vtube editor we got to click on current seats zero out of one so this will allow us to upload one avatar and one avatar only not multiple like other pieces of software you're going to click on the plus sign you're going to name it whatever click on browser find your avatar click it and then click open now you're going to see that we have a 50 megabyte maximum that is going to be a thing what that means is that you're going to have to lower the complexity of your model lower the details of your model but it is a little bit of a pain in the butt you have to do it if you want to use this piece of software again this software is more meant for new people that can't afford models so on and so forth but if you have the ability to make your model smaller do that another option you could do is edit your model and have it just from the waist up or bust up. Now that we went through all these different settings, let's get this ready for, well, basically OBS. Okie dokie, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the scene. We're gonna go up to scenes. Now, if you want to have your avatar with a scene in the background, you could leave the scene on to, well, whatever you see here. I'm gonna do with a green screen. So we're gonna go under color. We're gonna change it to green. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on hide interface, change that to on. So now that it disappears. Okie dokie. So we're here at OBS. First thing we're going to do is under sources. We're going to hit the little plus sign. We're going to go to game capture. Under game capture, we're going to label it whatever we want. I'm going to call it VTube maker, not VTuber, but VTube. Then under mode. We're going to click that. We're going to change it capture specific window. Under window, we're going to select VTuber Maker. And there we are. We're going to hit OK. And as we see, the avatar is on the screen. But we're not done yet. On VTube Maker, we're going to right click on it. We're going to go to filters. Okay, under filters, we're going to hit the little plus sign. We're going to select chroma key. Click OK. And as you see, the green screen is automatically gone. We're going to click close. And that is basically it for the OBS portion. If you do want to keep that background, all you have to do is basically don't change it to the green screen. Change it to whatever you want and then adjust your avatar size accordingly. Again, I recommend VTuber Maker for people that are very new to VTubing that can't afford to get a model made or have the required time or skill to make their own in Vroid Studio. VTuber Maker also doesn't have hand tracking like you see on the screen. So there are gonna be some limitations to this software. Again, perfect, absolutely perfect for new VTubers that are looking to get into VTubing. But what did you think of VTuber Maker? Is it something you're going to use? Is it something that you're going to recommend to one of your friends to try? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.